This is the Madison College Writing Center's Two Minute Tutors. I'm Kate Stover. And I'm Suzanne Triber, and today we will answer the question, when should I use the and a or an in front of a noun? During the next two minutes, we'll talk about the basic guidelines that help answer this question. I have to say, Kate, deciding when to use articles is not easy. Mm-mm. Many languages just skip articles altogether. That's true, but we like articles because they build clarity. All right, let's start. The writer needs to begin by asking two questions. First, the writer needs to ask, is my noun identified or unidentified? Kind of unusual words. The pictures on the slides help explain what we mean. So take a look at the image on the left. Use the in front of a noun when you want to identify a specific person, place, or thing. Like here, the student. Correct. But if you look on the right, you'll see an unidentified image. When a writer wants to talk about a noun in general or a noun that doesn't have an identity, they should put a or an in front of it, like here, a student. Yes, that's right. It really depends on the writer's purpose. Do they want to write about an identified noun or an unidentified one? That's the question the writer must answer. The article the writer chooses clarifies the noun. Okay, Suzanne, let's move on to that second question. You got it, Kate. The second question is this. Is the noun singular or plural? The example we've been using is a singular noun. So, for an identified singular noun, use the, as you see in the left column. And for an unidentified singular noun, use a, like in the right column. But what about when the noun is plural? Let's take a look at how using articles is a bit different with plural nouns. Okay, the good news is that identified plural nouns are just like identified singular nouns. Both use the. So, the students in this classroom listen. Now, let's look at what happens with unidentified plural nouns. They are mavericks. You know it, Suzanne. Unidentified plural nouns don't use any articles at all. Like you see here. Usually, students listen. Suzanne, this is a lot of information in a short amount of time, so let's review. All right, let's do that. If you've decided that you have an identified noun, you know that you'll always use the in front of it, whether the noun is singular or plural. But if your noun is unidentified and it's singular, use a or an. When it's plural, don't use any article at all. Of course, you can always talk with someone about using articles by meeting with someone in your nearest writing center. Well, it looks like our work here is done. Woo! Right on, Kate. Right on, Suzanne. And thank you all for joining us.